Princess Diana secretly recorded tapes to give to her biographer Andrew Morton for his 1992 book Diana, Her True Story, and the journalist opened up about his shock at hearing Diana like a prisoner in a cell in a royal documentary. Princess Diana and Prince Charles married in their fairy tale 1981 wedding ceremony but, by 1996, their famously tumultuous marriage had ended in divorce. The couple separated in 1992. The Queen's Anne is horribilis that also saw Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew separate, Princess Anne divorce, in the devastating fire at Windsor Castle. That year, the bombshell book Diana, Her True Story hit the shelves, by journalist Andrew Morton, which sent shockwaves rippling through the royal family. What the shocked and mesmerized public did not know at the time was that the book was actually written with the help of Diana herself who would record tapes to hand over to Mr. Morton via her friend James Cole Thirst. Mr. Morton spoke to Channel 5 documentary Royals at War, which aired last month, and described his own surprise at hearing Diana's voice like a prisoner in a cell. He said, she was absolutely miserable and she felt she was like a prisoner of the palace. She felt she needed to speak out. Well, she chose me, thankfully because I was independent and I was sympathetic to her cause. Nothing prepared me for the cascade of information, and the controversy that the book aroused. Mr. Morton continued, Boy, was I surprised. I put my headphones on, switched on the tape recorder and out came this cascade of emotion. She was speaking like a prisoner in a cell who just had a few minutes to get the story out. There was talk of her misery, of her unhappiness. It was totally, utterly shocking. I felt like I'd entered a parallel universe. The documentary also hears from royal experts on the relationship between the Princess of Wales and Sarah Ferguson. Although the pair were firm friends at first, the two royal women had their ups and downs, with a furious Diana leaking the news of Fergie and Prince Andrew's separation in 1992. After Prince Charles and Princess Diana separated, Diana had a serious relationship with heart surgeon Hasnat Khan. Friends of the princess have called Khan the love of her life, however the pair split just before Diana's untimely death in 1997.